One of the most interesting projects that I have been playing around in the last two years is the The Author Project. That's a project that is based on the ESP microcontroller and with a chip microcontroller you can actually play around with creating new access point, virtual access point, send beacon frames in the air, send probe requests in the air, play around and even send the authenticate frames in the air. Now let's look at how we create a fake access point, a virtual access point, and from there we will look at it through Wireshark. So the very first thing that you will need to do is to grab your ESP microcontroller, the, the author microcontroller, um, plug it into a power source, and from there just head up to the pond SSID, that's the SSID that publishes, and the admin page is at 192.168.4.1, press here. Now you can scan the different networks that are around. You can also see stations, not only access points. You can actually create new SSID and use them in what is known as a beacon frame uh, attack or an evil twin, we actually create new fake access point or even cloning legit access points that are around. Now one thing to note, a disclaimer, this is only for educational purposes. Please use it very carefully. All right, so the other thing is the attacks where you can find different attacks. One of them is the the auth attack where you actually send the authentication frames towards an access point or towards stations. Now let's just move to the SSID part. Let's name our SSID. Let's name it uh, test1. Let's actually create two SSIDs with that name. And let's add this one to the list itself. And let's reload the packet rate. Now the next thing to do is to go to the attacks page. We will use what is known as a beacon frame attack. That is our microcontroller actually sends beacon frames with the um, test one SSID. So let's, let's just stop it and let's start it again. All right, and now let's look at our Wi-Fi settings and here we can see the test one virtual access point that we have just created. Now let's move to Wireshark. Let's just capture everything around. And let's stop our capture and let's look for the test one SSID. You can see that we have the open all day SSID, which is another SSID that I have actually created. We also have the 40 tip SSID, and we also have the test one SSID uh, that was sent from our microcontroller. All right, and now let's double click the SSID, the test one SSID. Let's look at the different uh, frames, the different frame control and we can actually see that it works on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency on channel 13 and the signal strength the rssi the received signal strength is minus 22 dbm which actually means that it, it is centimeters from my stations